Hi, Tracy Hess from Zone to Be Tone, seventh episode. Wow, ladies. <laughs> we're here week seven, of course, on Inspiring Instructors. Of course, we're here with KP, myself, Stephanie Hendel, and we have lovely Zumba instructor, Maggie Duffy. Maggie, how you doing? Just fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm going to always go into how I met these instructors because very, very important. And actually, I met Maggie through the young lady that actually does my makeup. And she told me this inspiring story about Maggie. And I'm like, my God, I have to meet her. <laughs> so we, I called her up on the phone. We talked. I got her class schedule. I went out and I took one of her Zumba, which you can see some of her footage. <laughs> I was a wet dog. <laughs> my hair was sweat. I had so That's much my goal. fun. I had so much fun in Maggie's class. But Maggie, like all instructors, she has a story. Everyone has a story to tell. And I'm like KP, of course, always started off with her questions, and then we'll wrap it around. I'll get back to me. KP. Well, first of all, I like to say I love Maggie because she's got big hair. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta back love the big hair because That's it right. is coming right. back. And so I was inspired by that just in itself. Um, I just got to know Maggie, and a big, a big, big thing that I like to ask women is when they've had significant changes in their life, which I understand that Maggie has, is what was your why? Because if you don't have a why, you're not going to decide. You're not going to commit. So Maggie, being a Zumba instructor, what was your why to become a Zumba instructor? Well, I'd gotten into the routine. I had three kids, you know, I have three kids, 12, 10, and 7 years old, and kept trying to figure out what am I going to do with my life once they go to school. They move on. Yeah. And I went through everything. I was going to be a hairdresser. I was going to be a medical <laughs> biller and coder. Oh, I was going to work in an office. Boring. All boring things. Boring, Maggie. <laughs> yeah. But we and I said, relate to that. Yeah. yeah. And then um, one of my, I used to exercise a lot because I used to be very heavy at one time after I had my kids. I was very heavy and got very comfortable mm -hmm. being very heavy. You know, loose clothing does a lot for you. <laughs> um, so I went and took a Zumba class. Now, I heard about Zumba from years ago. I have the VHS tapes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. When Zumba first came oh, wow. back. Take us back. Yes. Take us back. Take us back. Take us back. So, I went into the class and I loved it. It was my music, stuff I grew up with. Sure. You know, and I said, oh, I have to do this. And one of the, teach one of the students in the class said, Maggie, you got to go do this. You can oh, do it better so than the instructor can. You gotta yeah. go do this. Yeah. So I just like, can I do it? Can I not do it? And I went, and it was like the best decision I ever made. So was your You're weight awesome. loss prior to the Zumba, or was it while you were doing Zumba? Well, forty or fifty pounds was prior, and then the other then sixty helped. came off. Wow. In three years. Yes. So sixty That's pounds. Awesome. You weren't wow. perfect when you showed up. No. <laughs> Nice right. and rounded, yeah. you know, but filled everything very, out. That's very significant yes. for inspiration yeah, to absolutely. know that you can so. earn while you learn. Yes. I like that. Mm -hmm. So your class members, have any of the women that take your class, have they lost a cynic amount of weight since the I have, I class? guess. I have a close personal friend of mine who has lost 140 wow. pounds. Wow. Yeah. And I have I seen every it. one Woo! of those 140 pounds. <laughs> A, um, like closer friends, I've met a lot of really wonderful people right. through Zumba, sure. a lot of best friends that I have, right. and there's been between 50, 60, 70 pounds from each one wow. that come off. Wow. Yeah, but that's again, really it's all in what you put into it. Right. Absolutely. You know, I can only Absolutely. teach you for that one mm -hmm. hour. That's right. And what, what you, you do, do with the rest of the day, is the key. I can't do yeah, it, and so how much true. you put into it. Now, that's another question, because do you, uh, of course, a lot of them don't like to speak nutrition to a lot of people, because that's something on another, you should take that on another level with some professionals that really know what they're doing. But do people People come to you and ask you for nutrition advice. Would Absolutely. you follow? They would know tell and, what you did. Um, uh, yes. I. <laughs> okay. Everybody tell has a all, cheat Maggie. day. Yes, tell I know. We talked about this earlier. <laughs> I know. Everybody <laughs> has a cheat day, cheat day, and my cheat day is every single Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I go ahead and I eat not good food. <laughs> Should I say what I eat? Bring it on, because you know how we're, we're nobody's perfect, and I, and I like that we were talking about, I was laughing, because we were talking about this earlier, and I'm like, you know what, everybody has to have one, because life is too short, right? Absolutely. You can do it during the week, have your good time, but you have to, you really have to reward yourself for all your hard work, and we were laughing about what Let me tell you, I, I really tell reward it. myself. Tell I it, have Maggie. wings and beer. Wow. Every Ooh. Thursday. Okay, so I it's love perfect. Every Thursday. Right. Um, did I mention the fries? The fries, cake, oh. every kind oh. of cheese with bacon. Oh. Once a week, every week. But that's it. That's it. That's an extra <laughs> hour of Zumba. There you go. Steph, <laughs> do you have any questions? I love this. Yeah, Maggie, you went through a huge weight loss change. What, after mm. you lost all the weight, what changed for you in your life? 
everything. You have so much more energy. Absolutely. You, I mean, people ask me all the time, like, you know, if, if my class that day is harder, if it's easier, like, what did you do? What did you do today to do this? And it's just that much more energy. I mean, the, the exercising and loving what you do because I absolutely, I love what I do. She does. It's so I mean, you're, 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 you're going to see that on film that she really does. I mean, her moves are stunning, precise. And I mean, you want to, you want to move like Maggie. You give up every hip move just to be like Maggie. I mean, really, my hips hurt. Isn't that I've been looking at you, my hip moves. hurts. Like, yeah. Right? We should change that, right? Instead of moves like Maggie, she moves like, like Maggie. Maggie. Yeah. That's, That's right. Yeah. See, moves, then you gave so me an idea. Yeah. Maggie, we have to also talk. She has a huge following. How many women attend your class? I mean, I came a Friday night at, I don't know, what time was it? 6.30 or something? 7.30. 7.30. There was a lot of women. How many women attend your class? It's an average. I also have men. Let's not forget okay, men. Okay, I didn't see yeah. them, but yeah. okay, men. I like I that, too. I have men in my class. I like that. Um, an average of about 65 to 70 wow. people. Wow. I mean, class. it's great. Packed. I mean, I love. you can tell they love mm -hmm. what they're doing. But again, another instructor that loves what she does. Thank the right. passion's all over yes. her face when yeah. you walk through the door. It was amazing. Ladies, do you have any more questions for Maggie? My favorite saying is, <laughs> that I've said before, is make your mess your message. And what, you know, I've done it, Maggie's done it. We all have a message from our mess. Right. And that is a huge way to connect with people and attract yeah, people. True. So don't be afraid to be who true. you are and take that what inspired you to inspire others. I mean, that's true. why you have such a great following because, because you motivate yeah. people with your message. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love it. You right. definitely love it. have a huge message and I'm telling you, you got to keep going. So what's in the future for Maggie? What's going on? Any special events besides the teaching? We're going to talk about that too, about your schedule. Um, especially, I try and do a lot of charity events. Yes. Um, I don't go to a lot of different Zumba events, but I try and do the charity, the ones for cancer, um, any kind of event that's out there for uh, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, any kind, I go out there and I do that, and that's on my own time. Right. Any kind of event I like to do. I love it. And that. friends, we have, uh, there's a huge Zumba community. I don't, you know, I, they hold different kind of events. You can't make them all because then you'd never be home. Right, exactly. right. <laughs> but I try and go to as many as I can. There is a lot. And I, I also want to say, not to backtrack everything, and I want to bring your mother into things, because I tell you, her support system is unbelievable. And that's huge, because we yes. talk about this yes. in all episodes, about mm -hmm. your support system helping you, yes. and that's how you're going to be able to be more and more successful. Your mother is amazing. She is. She is, I absolutely. Mean, she I is know, at every mom. one of my classes. Oh, on my left. Oh, Yes, hi mom. She's I mean, at every one of my classes. She comes with me to do two hour wow. Zumba events and she she's always it. right there. Definitely always awesome. because your mom was in the class with us and I thought Absolutely. that was amazing mm -hmm. that you have that support system. Does your, your girls come and do Zumba when you say? My kids actually do Zumba Tomic. Oh. Yes, Zumba which is a Zumba program for children. Oh. I love um, it. I used to teach it at the Y. I don't teach it right now. I think I might be doing it later on in the summertime. I like Teaching that. it for children. No, that's but right. my one daughter who's 12, she has come to my classes. She actually does choreography as well. Wow. wow. So you know, I do a lot of this at home. Oh, talented. Yes, I do a lot of this at home. <laughs> this is going to be a big family business. It is. Yeah, absolutely. Maggie. Can you tell our viewers, I know you probably can't remember, well, maybe you can remember your schedule off the top of your head. Where can yes. they locate you first? How can they contact you? Uh, you can contact me um, on the Zumba.com. They go on www.zumba.com and they put my name in Maggie Duffy and it'll give you my entire information, my whole schedule. Everything. Awesome. That's awesome. Easy. awesome. You and I'm also on Facebook. You got oh, yep. Maggie me. Duffy. You got yes, look Maggie her Duffy. D U F F E Y. There's an E there. <laughs> oh, be different. oh, there you go. There's an E. Yes. That's why the spelling is important because I want them to contact you and I want them to experience. In fact, we may just show up, ladies, and take yes. one of those classes. Oh, yeah. We've already been oh, yeah. Yeah. Now. Okay. I'll, I'll have you shake it. Yeah, we want to be shaking as well. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, we're going to shut his own. We, we already went through a hell with our one workout, yes. but I think this will be a little bit more exciting for us than the last workout that we did have. You ladies have any more questions for Maggie? Because this is, uh, this this energy is like, I'm sweating. Woo! <laughs> I thought it was just me. I'm yeah. sweating, you know. <laughs> Maggie's doing really, really great. But um, we want to thank you, Maggie, for oh, taking welcome. your thank time you out on Sunday, me. for sharing this with the viewers. You guys got to come out and see Maggie. You got all her contact information. Please, this is what this show is all about, yes. bringing these mm -hmm. people to you. If you don't know who they are, you're going to find them on the Zone to Be Fit show. We thank, thank you. you. We will thank be back you. on our next episode, episode eight, with the mothers and daughters for Mother's Day segment. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you, Kim Pei, Kim Pei, KP, <laughs> Maggie, and Stephanie Hensel. Tracy has Zone to be Tom. We're out. We'll see you next episode.